G'day people, and welcome back to another week renovating our stone cottages. This week, Albie had to fix the roof where the birds were getting in, had to get the sheep shorn, and had a little accident while going to Pinery. Enjoy the video, and if you could please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We enjoy speaking to you. My job is to pull all this stuff up here that I put underneath that budge and replace it because I don't like it. Because it's only like four mil laminated floor and it's plastic, it's all bowing. And I don't like those screws. So that's all going. Gonna put some different laminated flooring up there. Some of it's a bit stronger. Alison said it's not waterproof, but if water gets up underneath here, there's something going on. We must be flooding or something, so. Stay tuned. Got everything all set up now. I didn't want you to see waste of time watching the setup and stuff. So now I'm going to pull these pieces down individually, trace them onto this new board that I've got. Going to use this stuff because it doesn't matter. It's just going to get painted anyhow. It's a lot thicker. It's not waterproof though, but if water gets up underneath there, we're in serious trouble. All right. This is the time of the year and I wish that I still lived on a farm. Farmer Joe's got his header out. And I love headers. Big badass machines. It's a little bit early in the year to be reaping, but because it's so dry this year, they're all about to go nuts. It's got a class one, European header. Not my favorite. But I'd still drive it. Boss man's following him on the four wheeler to make sure it's all working. Sweet. So, got that piece filled in now, all the way. There is a lot of unhappy spoggies around here at the moment. So I can't get back in there, which is good. So I've done that and I've put this wire going through to go to the shed. So when Harley comes back, you can rewire the shed. Got the electrical wire running in conju now. To here. When I come back, I'll do the rest. Go from there, across to there, into the shed. So that's all I've got done today. It's taken a few hours, but it's all good. Next out here is to dig out all this gravel here, get 
get it down lower so I can put some road base in. Then put some paving sand down and go pave this whole area. I'm going to bring the pavers out to like here to where that path sort of thing is. Then go across there to this side of the shed door. And then maybe also around the tank stand to that other shed wall there. Snazzy, what do you think? Have your new do. Hmm? You're not impressed? Ah, yeah. No, it's not too bad, so. Well, we've come up to have a quick run up here to wet this down so that it doesn't dry up and crack too much. There's a few little cracks, but I'll sponge that up and they should disappear. And it's actually looking pretty good. So I'll get stuck into that now, get that done, and then we can head home. So just quick run up here just to make sure that this is looking okay and we wet it down. Six bought out to a 192. It's got a Bathurst cam in it, it's got Bathurst head on it, roller rockers, extractors, triple SUs, trimatic transmission, three grand stall. Okay, people, so we ducked up to Pinery this afternoon and kind of put some plants in the garden. Um, this little area here, I think, used to be an aviary. I'm doing a little bit of an experiment, making it a bit of a little food forest and just planning it out. I'm going to plan it pretty heavily with a whole variety of stuff and see how much we can get in here, see what likes it here, what doesn't. It's a bit of an experiment, so we'll just wait and see. Um, you can see here, Albie's already started to take over. He's put these tomatoes in and let's just say we're different gardeners. Albie's very particular about how things go in. He likes things in neat rows. He likes to have a space. I like to just jam things here, there and everywhere. So... It's a bit spoiled, aren't you? Hotel Pinery. Yeah. Weekend at Pinery this weekend. 
reckon we didn't get a lot done because Albie decided no, no, no. to buy himself another car. Alison has a habit of getting on Marketplace first thing in the mornings. It's always my fault, but this one's all on her. No, I just said, hey, this has dropped a heap in price. This is actually a big bargain. I didn't tell you to buy it. That's 100% on you. And I went, you could sell a few parts on this and you'd get your money back. Convert it to a ute? No, we're not converting it to a ute. So I'm going to get past the It's going to stay as a pedal man if we're keeping it. It's going to stay as a pedal van here. So anyway, Abby's bought another car. And Abby's got a few cars already. So he probably didn't need another car. But apparently this one can go in the collection. So he's got one of each of the HQs. So now we've got to offload this and put it away. Can you actually talk to the camera? Tell us what you're doing with that swear words. I'm placing the tap so hopefully the hot water fucking works. Tap's been leaking, so... No, the other one. No, this one. The hot water is not working properly. The hot water's not coming through. We think that the bridge may not be working properly. No, so the washer on the cold water tap was totally broken. So the water's getting yeah. into the hot. Shh! You didn't want to do it, so now I'm doing it. So, this washer on the cold water tap was completely broken, and so the car was getting into the hot. I've got in here, I've changed the washers, I've undone this and this bit here, and I put this uh, liquid sealant on it so that it'll be completely sealed. And now I'm just tightening this bit here up to make sure it's nice and tight so that um, nothing leaks and then we'll have hot water again because the hot water was not really hot. So. This beam here has pulled in all these bricks. So this brick here is really loose. So now we need to unbolt this, pull this back out now so that we can actually pull some of this out and fix here so that we actually can repoint this and the whole wall's not pulling in. So Abby's given me a job to do. Got the wire wheel and I need to wire wheel all this paint off of this thread so that he can unbolt it. After working, we decided to go to the pub and we caught up with Michael from 4th Generation Renovation and as you can see, it got a little bit rowdy.
Albie was going to change the tyres on the car because he'd left the spare on from having to change last weekend. And then tomorrow morning he was going to go down and get some new tyres. So we're heading out of town, probably maybe 10k out of town on the dirt road. And next minute we get a flat tyre. So now we had to drive. First Albie had to try and get the tyre off the rim because we had no spare with us no jack and now we've driven 10 kilometers back on the rim and now Albie's got to go and find another tire lucky he's always got tires laying around so let's go and have a look what he's up to right of the car up put in on blocks get this tire off put it on the car and hope we make it home and then tomorrow he's going to go put new tires on the car I think you might be right babe what? I think you might be right. The rim looks a bit razzed. Do you think that rim will be alright, babe? This one? Yeah. You reckon? Yep. It's swimming a bit off the ground, isn't it? We don't do burnouts anymore. You know what happens when you do burnouts? So thanks again for watching our video. Again, if you could help us out by liking and subscribing as well as leaving a comment just so we can catch up and engage with you. Thank you.